Peace, peace. What's going on? It's day 210 out of 365. And if I'm being extremely transparent right now, I'm doing a little jaywalk. I've been smoking for years now, off and on, but recently it's been more consistent than ever in the last couple of years. I would say that I've definitely built or cultivated an addiction to it. And it's not like it's ruining my life. I function, I create, I work a full-time job, I go to school, I work out every day. Recently, I've been working out twice a day. You know, if you see me physically, you know, weed hasn't really stopped me from doing things or accomplishing things or completing things or moving on and figuring it out in life. Physically, at least. I feel like mentally, it has been, uh, and spiritually, it feels like, how do I word this? I feel like it's definitely a shack. Um, and I think it's because I could acknowledge that I don't have control or discipline when it comes to the usage. I kind of use it whenever my body tells me to smoke. And, you know, that's not good. I don't think that's a good habit to have. I don't think that's a good relationship to have with it. I think that when we use it, it should be for sacred moments or, you know, when we use it, at least it should be prescribed. But um, I think when you start smoking just because you're sad, because you're happy to celebrate, because you're bored, because you can't create, I think that's when it becomes a problem. And I think that that's where I'm at right now. And before I started smoking again back in April, I had stopped last year in October for about seven, eight months. And I felt really good. I felt like that was when I was able to think the clearest. I was, you know, working through my emotions better. I think that's when I had my least negative thoughts. Like I was still experience, you know, my usual challenges, but I was able to maneuver through them a little bit easier. But I feel like now when it's, when I started to smoke again, I noticed a pattern of thinking negative again um, and allowing myself to ruminate more and harping on certain experiences or thinking about my past more often or getting sidetracked by uh, certain emotions. Or if I'm being honest, sometimes I feel like I have like episodes where I'll create something in my head and then I'll see it or I'll feel it or I think it's true versus when I'm not doing this shit it doesn't feel that way like I won't I don't know I'm more present if that makes sense so I know I've been saying this to myself the last couple of days good morning how you doing I've been saying to myself I've been telling myself for the last few days that I want to stop. Not even days, actually, weeks. I've been telling myself for the last few weeks that, yo, I need to stop, I need to stop, I need to stop. And, you know, I think today, today might be that day. For sure. I feel called to do so. I've been called to do so. Um, I know it's challenging. It's going to be a big-ass challenge but I really need to stop. I feel like the next level of whatever it is that I want to do and complete requires me to do so. I feel like I need to be alert in all aspects, in all realms. Because, right, sometimes smoking, when I'm high, damn, he hitting that, he hitting that hole. When I'm high, we be thinking we, we aware, but yo, we just focused. <laughs> just cause we're focused don't mean we're aware, you know? We'll focus on our body, but we'll focus on the environment. But sometimes we'll start seeing shit that's not there. We'll start hearing shit that's not there. We will be unaware. Damn. All these, 
God damn, all these mosquitoes. Like, no lie. We be getting in the way. I really do. Maybe sometimes I know I have to wake up at 4 in the morning. But I'm high at 11 a.m. So, I wake up groggy. And I'm like, mm, nah, maybe I can sleep for another hour. And I'll wake up in another hour. But maybe I was supposed to wake up at 4 a.m. for a reason. And I'm missing out on something type shit, you know. There'd be sometimes I'm high and I know I have to do a task. And then it's like, I always wonder what those birds are. I'll be having to do a task, right? And then I'm sitting there thinking about the tasks I have to do and all the steps and movements I have to, you know, accomplish before I get to the outcome that I want. And then I start thinking like, damn, maybe that's too much. Let's get it. It's my third time coming outside. I went for a walk earlier. This time I'm jogging to end of the day just because I didn't go to the gym. You gotta get this working somehow, you feel me? But I do wanna come back to this topic about quitting weed and wrapping up the video soon. But let me finish this run first. So I ran my first mile and taking a quick break before I run another one. But um, yo, yeah, man, I think I think today marks the beginning of you know no weed for me for now moving forward. I feel so convicted to stop smoking, and I feel like I need a sober mindset. I need to be on all my ten toes, man. I need to be fully here for whatever, you know, I guess I feel is coming my way. Because I can't tell you why I want to stop smoking. Because I, in reality, I, I feel like I abuse it. But when I compare it to other people, I really don't. Because all I need is one joint for the next one to two days. Three days sometimes, you know? few tucks here, a few tucks there, but even that shit adds up, you know, even that sometimes, not, not even sometimes, even that gets in the way, that'll make you lazy, that'll make you lethargic, and like I mentioned, it doesn't feel like I have space and time and capacity for that right now, you know, so if you've been looking for a sign, if you've been thinking about it, I'm not gonna tell you this is it, but take this as a nudge, maybe as a lighthouse signal to dive deeper as to why you feel like that is happening for you. Why do you feel called to stop smoking? Why do you feel called to, you know, put the weed down and really, really sit with it and then make that decision? I will highly suggest to at least stop, you know, take a break fast, see what comes out of it, see how you feel, keep a journal by you, take note of everything. But I'm gonna get back into this, you know, back into my running. Sorry for today's video, if it's not too action. Remember to drop a comment, leave a thumbs up, and subscribe.